Hi, Dr. Huntington here. And in this video, we're gonna cover malnutrition. And this is important to understand for just about everyone because it's, it's not just a lack of food you know, in poor communities or in developing countries that causes malnutrition. It's everyday situations that are happening around you and maybe in your household. Um, nutritional deficiencies occur for various reasons and the number one cause you know, is a poor diet. Um, often it's, you know, not consuming enough of the healthy, nutrient-dense foods, you know, or too many empty calories. And this is at the root of the massive obesity epidemic that, you know, exists today. You know, having proper and adequate nutrients allows your body to work the way it's designed to function. Um, the nutrients are your fuel. They support the processes that slow aging. And, um, nutrients affect how your genes are expressed and it lowers your risk for disease. The standard American diet is at its best nutrition thin. Even though most Americans consume you know, more than enough food, almost everyone is deficient in at least one major vitamin or mineral. Things like vitamin D or vitamin K2 or omega-3 fatty acids. Um, the US has the highest obesity rate in the world, nearly 75% 70, of men and 60% of women and unbelievably, 30% of children struggle with their weight. Yet nearly everyone is lacking at least a few key nutrients. Sadly, children who experience malnutrition in any form will have altered metabolisms, you know, increasing their risk for adulthood obesity. Um, the takeaway here is that if you're overweight, it's highly likely that you have nutrient deficiencies. And it's because foods that cause obesity lack nutritional value, and they steal vital nutrients from your body and can interfere with your body's normal function. Uh, for example, sugar steals nutrients and affects the absorption of calcium and magnesium. Uh, excess fructose, you know, which is a type of sugar, interrupts the enzymes that help to synthesize vitamin D in your body. Uh, this happens even if your overall diet is adequate. And this means that your health to a large degree depends on staying away from processed and sugary foods, refined carbohydrates and chemicals and artificial ingredients. Um, a poor diet also leads to malnutrition by creating digestive issues, uh, gut bacterial overgrowth and blood sugar imbalances. And common digestive conditions such as low stomach acid and ulcerative colitis, uh, leaky gut syndrome and Crohn's disease all these things hinder your ability to absorb nutrients. You know, and some other common factors that cause malnutrition include uh, aging, chronic stress, uh, prescription drug use, and uh, alcohol. Um, regardless of the reason for the nutritional deficiency, if it's left unhandled, it'll have devastating health consequences. Unfortunately, these deficiencies can go undetected for years. You know, but here are some common uh, symptoms. Uh, once the deficiency really starts to you know, show itself, problems like uh, low bone density, uh, skin, hair, uh, eyesight and oral health issues, uh, memory problems or mental health issues, uh, joint pain and, and weight problems, and of course fatigue. The key is heading this off before it starts you know, by ensuring that you get all the nutrition that you need starting now. You know, rather than waiting for symptoms to appear. You know, and working to maintain you know, overall health is important because a high-functioning body will absorb and use nutrients properly. Okay, so here's the plan to follow to avoid malnutrition. Uh, first, eat a nutrient-dense diet and use high-quality dietary supplements to fill in the gaps. Um, switch, switching from like conventionally farmed fruits and vegetables and meat to organic non-GMO, uh, pasture-raised, and wild-caught foods. Um, this change will provide you with more nutrition and less chemicals. Uh, unfortunately, the, the nutrient value of foods uh, gets depleted by modern-day growing and harvesting practices. And this is another reason why so many people aren't getting enough nutrition and why supplementation is necessary. Okay, the next step is to you know, extremely limit or completely omit sugar and processed food. Uh, consume lots of vegetables, a moderate amount of protein, and lots of healthy fat. 
You know, and here's where a lot of people really miss, even if they have those other things in. You need to include foods rich in pre and probiotics, like fibrous and fermented vegetables. Uh, in fact, adding a daily greens powder you know, to your diet is an easy way and an immediate way to uh, improve your health. Uh, the product I recommend is called Super Green Foods by Body Manual. It includes things like chlorella and uh, wheatgrass and red marine algae, in, in addition to you know, other superfoods, uh, you know, foods that might have a better chance of making it onto your dinner plate, things like broccoli and spinach and asparagus. The next thing to do is to take you know, a high quality multi. Uh, Body Manual's uh, multivitamin uh, mineral provides the spectrum of nutrients that you should look for. And you can check out that label at bodymanual.com. You know, it's formulated for both uh, men and women, and it can help bridge the gap between, you know, what you're getting in your food and what your body ultimately needs. Um, your digestive system needs support as well. You know, and a key component to absorbing nutrients is, you know, having adequate amounts of digestive enzymes. Um, taking a digestive enzyme for most people is a good idea, you know, particularly most adults. And if you have, you know, digestive tract damage or you're, you're over 40, you know, these are when enzymes and digestive system efficiency can naturally decrease. Um, to handle this, take a high quality digestive enzyme supplement, you know, that'll help you to really break down all three macronutrients, you know, proteins and carbohydrates and fats. Um, go to bodymanual.com and check out the ingredients of the product called digestive enzymes. You know, so you have an idea of what to look for in a product. Now, if you follow these simple steps, you know, you'll put yourself in a position to get what you need from your diet. All right, thanks for watching. And if you like this content and you'd like to know when I publish my next video, go ahead and click on the subscribe button below and I'll see you in the next video.